The Top 5 Biggest Problems with Electric Cars Much fanfare has been made about how electric vehicles, EV, will save the planet and rescue us all from imminent doom like some kind of four-wheeled electro Superman, a slightly unreasonable expectation. Despite the many pros, though, zero tailpipe emissions thanks to ditching the internal combustion engine, ICE, in favor of a battery-powered electric motor, instant torque, a quiet cabin, EVs aren't without some flaws, and there are a few disadvantages and problems with electric cars that you should be aware of if you're thinking about getting behind the wheel of one. Range. The biggest worry people tend to have when it comes to EVs has to do with range anxiety, the creeping fear that your EV will run out of juice before you can find a suitable place to recharge the battery. It's an understandable concern, Australia is a very large country, and currently the EV infrastructure here isn't where it needs to be in terms of supporting EVs to take long-distance drives. Temperature-sensitive batteries. EV batteries are a lot like Goldilocks taste in porridge, too hot or too cold gets the big thumbs down, whereas somewhere in the middle is about right. Extreme heat can speed up the degradation of an EV battery pack, whereas extreme cold can negatively affect the vehicle's range. That results in having to be more mindful of what temperatures your EV is exposed to, as blaring heat from the sun or frigid conditions are only going to do damage. The Tesla Model S has an estimated range of 652 kilometers. Battery fires are harder to extinguish. First, the good news, EVs are far less likely to catch fire than ICE vehicles, with a recent report from Tesla revealing its cars are 11 times less likely to catch fire than ICE vehicles. Where EV battery fires get tricky is for firefighters, they are harder to put out when compared to fires in ICE vehicles, and may require larger amounts of water, or even a special fire extinguisher, to be effectively quashed. Charging time. A major drawback to EVs is how long it takes them to charge. Whereas filling your ICE vehicle's tank with petrol takes mere minutes, charging an EV can take much longer, 15 minutes to 48 hours, depending on which type of charger you're using, level 1 AC trickle charging using a domestic socket, level 2 AC fast charging, or level 3 DC rapid charging. No standard plug. Which brings us to the next point. There is no universal standard when it comes to plugs, in the same way that the nozzle on a petrol pump is the same regardless of what petrol station you visit, although obviously diesel and petrol are different. Cost. Price parity between EVs and ICE vehicles is expected to occur in the next five or so years, making EVs more accessible, thanks in part to the cost of battery packs dropping, and an increase in EV models hitting the market. Not as green as you'd think. EVs, with their delightful zero-emission tailpipes, are almost certainly better for the environment, but that doesn't mean they're 100% carbon neutral. Not that car companies aren't working on it. Polestar, Volvo's EV performance car division, has announced plans to manufacture the world's first carbon neutral car by 2030, and several other car companies have announced plans to go completely carbon neutral in the coming years.